Thanks for having me. How are you feeling ahead of the match? I am so excited. Although I've got a flu, but I'm so excited. I feel yeah. too good. Confident? Def definitely. All right. Definitely. Good. It's not easy participating in the CAF Confederations Cup, obviously due to financial constraints. How's the team coping so far? No, because we are winning, keep on winning, you know, we are keeping on going. There's no use to complain and we are getting, gaining a lot. It's not easy. Uh, the treatment outside the country in Africa is very, very difficult. Yeah. But I'm happy that uh, we are playing through, we are taking game by game. All right. Uh, well, that was my next question. If, if Black Leopards do qualify for the next round, will you be able to continue participating in the competition? Definitely. That goes without saying. We are there. We started this competition. Our aim is to lift the cup. We are not escorting the other teams who are going there. We are going to lift the cup. Yeah. And it's not, it's not, it's not hampering the team's performance at all, clearly. I mean, the, the team is going out there doing what they need to do. And that's what's important. Yeah, that, that's correct. That's what keeps us going. And to know that you are everybody, the whole nation is behind you, we not like to make history. Yeah. Yes. What, what, what can we expect from Black Leopards this coming weekend? Uh, we, I expect a win. We are going to win tomorrow. There's, so we had a meeting. I had a meeting with my guys yesterday at the hotel. And uh, they are all ready to go. Yeah. Oh, we know you've recently sold some of your key players. You know, how's it going? With, with no, it's team? only one player, Leon. A team of Black Leopard Caliber. We've got so many players. Uh, they are all there. And uh, I know that my technical call team is the problem. Who to play, who not to play. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's do a, a little bit of a prediction. How, how, think, how far do you think you'll actually get in this competition? Come again? How far do you think you'll get in this competition? Uh, I think we are going to the final. I think we are going to the final. Why I say that, Leon, last two weeks ago, when we were in Khartoum in Sudan, um, it's in our history that uh, El Marek is a big team, very big team. They consist of nine players who are all in the national side. And uh, the owner is a multimillionaire. There is not a billionaire, and uh, they, are all, they have all the resources which they need. Yeah. And uh, they, we played before a crowd of 55,000 people at night, and um, in the evening, the game kick off seven o'clock South African time. It was eight o'clock in Sudan. Yeah. We were sweating. We were sweating. The heat. That was only our enemy, because uh, uh, it was 45 degrees. We were all sweating. But uh, we managed to contact them uh, yeah. throughout, and uh, we managed to score two goals where it was less expected. Amazing. So, I mean, so, so, so playing at Ellis Park this weekend, I mean, that is going to seriously have home ground advantage for, for the team. No, definitely. Definitely. We are home. Oh, my appeal to all South Africans is that tomorrow come in big numbers and let's rally behind the boys. I've got. I'm confident that it will make it tomorrow. Fantastic. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And uh, hopefully Black Leopards will do South Africa proud going forward. Because, I mean, playing here at Ellis Park, getting away from those conditions within Africa is not easy to play there. But they've done so well so far. Uh, David Tidiele is the Black Leopards chairman talking to us about this upcoming APSA Premiership side. Black Leopards uh, advancing to the group of the uh, CAF Confederations Cup. Playing Sudan on Saturday at Ellis Park. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you very much, Leah. All right.